two weeks since our last bit of filming uh, and in that time we've achieved a fairly uh, phenomenal amount. Uh, two weeks ago this feature that was in front of me was barely at the top of the bricks. We thought it was a, a very shallow sort of pit built structure. It would have been um, substantially robbed out because we could only see small elements of the walling uh, but as you can see we've excavated significantly deeper and revealed this fantastic kiln. Um, there's the kiln behind us uh, which is quite possibly for um, a specialist CBM. We found lots of curved uh, tiles within this kiln. Uh, this, and it's, this kiln is later than this squarish structure uh, which comprises a, a square pit uh, with an arch at one end where the stoke hole would have would have been uh, the fire would have been stoked through and these subdividing walls uh, these corbelled walls which survive as sort of stubs towards the southern end but at the northern end here we have this fully arched element and we can see it's made of pitch tile, tiles which uh, are stacked one on top of each other until they kind of touch and then we have a, a, a arch built over the top and that would have supported the firing floor we initially believed that this kiln was, be, was for tiles, um, a smaller version of the kiln that we have in Trench 1. However, at the very bottom, we have a spread, an in-situ spread of pottery wasters, uh, just loads of different types of pottery, presumably percolating through the, the, the gaps as, as the kiln was in use. Um, and there's a tiny fragment left of the charcoal very, at the very base of the, of the, 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 the kiln, which would have uh, been raked out frequently through the stoke hole. I'm now at the northern end of trench two um, standing with this pottery kiln that we've I've talked about previously um, fully excavated fully recorded fully photographed um, and then we moved on to excavate a slot through the working area uh, similar to the, the, the kiln in trench one uh, we anticipated that we'd have a shallow hollow a little ramp running in filled with charcoal rakeout. Uh, what we do have is the charcoal rakeout, but what we also have, which we uh, didn't think we would have, is this really deep pit feature. We've excavated it down to a sort of safe depth and we're unlikely to, to bottom it because it's going and going. So it's possibly some sort of earlier pit, earlier well, maybe even of Iron Age date. As the excavation draws to a close, we can kind of reflect on just how um, well, amazing it's been really. It's been really rewarding. The, the kiln structures are much deeper, better preserved than we ever could have anticipated. Um, and we've added to the knowledge of, of, sort of tile working in this period hugely. And I'd just like to thank everyone who's worked on the project. So the students, the volunteers, the, the alumni and the professional archaeologists who've, who've made this such a great success.